Hi, it is Friday the 28th of October and it's Halloween weekend. My friend Tom has a residency at this record shop, so we are going there as a sort of like pre-drinks thing. I'm in my big Fishes of Belize t-shirt because I need to go and bleach my eyebrows. I've been using Jolene on my eyebrows, which is just the bleach that I use on my mustache. And I've been doing it like once every three days. Sometimes I would do it like two rounds of 20 minutes, but they are just still like, they're not bleach. They're like gingery. I think it's because it's quite a mild form of bleach. And I kind of figured that I should fully bleach my eyebrows because tonight I'm going as, <laughs> why is it like stars in the eyes? Tell us. Who are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Kat, I'm going to be Julia Fox. There's a really iconic picture of her where she is in like a grocery store car park and she's wearing some black underwear, a denim jacket, denim jutes, so like jean boots, and a jag, which is a jean bag. Yeah, I just think she's an icon. The party that we're going to after the record shop thing is BDSM themed. So this is why I think the Julia Fox thing is like a great middle ground. I started off by buying denim on Vinted. I just typed in denim, filtered women's clothes, and then filtered price low to high, and just looked for anything that would work. I wanted a really big oversized jacket, so I got this ASOS jacket, which I think was a UK 18, and it was literally so cheap. I also bought two pairs of jeans, but classic Vinted, one of the sellers was away and couldn't post it in time, so my order was refunded. So so I had to do a bit of a plan B for the denim that I was gonna use for the boots. I would have loved to get some actual denim boots, but I feel like it would have been kind of expensive and my legs, I really struggled to find like knee high boots that um, fit on my legs because I've got wide calves. I got another pair of jeans that were literally one pound. I took them to work yesterday and I used the sewing machine at work on my lunch break and turned it into a bag and honestly i'm so proud of it i think it's so cool so don't go through that lift it up yeah shimmy it a little bit forward and then go back down yeah I then went to my sister's to get a black bralette because my sister's whole wardrobe is either white, beige or black or grey. So I knew she'd be the right person to ask because I just didn't have the right kind of bralette. She had this lounge underwear thing, which kind of does look a bit like what Julia's wearing, but hers doesn't say lounge on it. And it makes me cringe a little bit because it kind of reminds me of like 2016 Instagram, like OG influencers pushing lounge i'm gonna do a bit of diy this afternoon and like try and wrap i think some knee high boots that i have or make some boot covers okay so i think the first thing i'm gonna do is bleach my eyebrows i just went to bleach london and got some actual bleach i need to be really careful and not get any bleach in my eyes because otherwise i can go blind this is a lot lighter than i was planning on i feel like it's like slightly old lady eyebrows i feel like maybe it's because my eyebrow hairs are quite long this is the jag I'm sorry, this is so good. And like, I feel like it's nice both ways. Um, kind of prefer it like butt side out, but it's like fully functioning. Look, I will put something in there. Here's my phone. See, I cut a hole in the crotch. Drag, do you know what I mean? It's very Balenciaga. Mm, maybe that's a reach. So that's the denim for my jacket and my bag and they kind of match and then these jeans from the charity shop just don't match at all. So this is the closest thing where I'm like, oh, I don't know if I should cut you up. And then there's these and I just don't really see myself ever wearing these ever again. So should I just chop them up? So I think I'm just gonna literally just chop along here and leave as much room as possible for error. So I've just put on some like knee high boots and put the like sleeve up it and I honestly think it kind of works. This is the worst angle, oh, what am I doing? I've actually just cut off a little bit more just so it doesn't like droop as much and I might be able to just get away with wearing them as boot covers. This is the lounge bralette and honestly it looks good, it's kind of supportive not my like personal style but it's halloween and these are just the little biker shorts i'm gonna wear I mean, i'm tempted to like roll them down a bit so they're like low rise but then i kind of get this like i don't know i'll see how skinny i feel at the time these are the boot covers i basically chopped my jeans from top shop that i literally have never worn in my life and they've been in my cupboard for like three years and yeah this is the asos 
denim jacket. I think I'm gonna go do my makeup. And it is a big improvement from when we first started this video. I'm not gonna lie, I was scared of the eyebrows at first, but with makeup and hair done, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, this is the whole look. It's quite hard to show full body on like a wide camera, but you get the gist. And I'm really into it. Maybe I'll take the sunglasses out because I do feel like it completes the look. But I love it. This is a good time. I'm so excited. Who's my muse? Oh my gosh, tough question. I don't know, maybe I'm museless. You are your own muse. Maybe, yeah, maybe I am my own muse, honestly. Yeah. Um, last Facts. Question. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe and the like button and follow me on socials.